No sit down eating since March 15. No hair appointment scheduled since March 18. Today that changed. It's been two months. We're all glad to be back in the shop, man. It's been a good first day so far. This week, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine lifted restrictions on restaurants and personal services, including hair salons and barbershops. Restaurants were only allowed to serve carryout delivery, while barbershops were completely closed since March 15th and March 18th, respectively. Definitely, it was a big hit, especially to us servers, because, uh, you know, we pretty much work off tips here every day. Most of the servers are excited and ready to get back to get money. As owners and employees look to ease the financial burden caused by extended closure, barbershop customers are getting their long-awaited haircuts. You think like, why do you need a haircut? Because you're at home, but I'm actually on a lot of Zoom calls. So <laughs> you notice it more than ever if you're looking a little bushy or unkempt. You already know why you need a haircut because beauty is in the hair. It's like when your hair is done, I don't care if you look like a bum, but if your hair is popping, I can go anywhere. Precautions are still being taken by these businesses, not only to meet government regulations, but to keep their clients safe. Every day we're wearing different smocks and every client we're switching capes, cleaning the chair, cleaning our clippers as normal. Uh, we all have hand sanitizer behind our station. We also have sanitizer for the clients and just been wearing masks and then it's not required but we also wear gloves too just for extra precaution. With businesses reopening and life seeming to creep back to normalcy, safety is still a top priority. I know everything's opening back up, but that don't necessarily mean like, hey, everything's back to normal. Always take your precautions, definitely. For Lantern TV, Andre White.